Welcome to the Join the Bank Show, y'all. I am Join the Bank, the king of Urban Podcast. I said it before, I'm going to say it again. I'm here every week. You can look forward to seeing us. You see me, you see him. Hey. I'm Mikey Scotty. I'm Mikey Scotty. Come on, big shot in the house. What's up, Willie Boy? Why I got to be Scotty, bro? Why I got to be Scotty? You know what I mean? Just because I was here first. <laughs> you know, like Mike was I, with the Bulls like, first. Like, I act like a little bitch or something. We, we traded for you. <laughs> Major, right. you, know. you know what? I be Scotty doing the Bulls days. I can't be Scotty. Now. Oh, yeah. I can't be Scotty now. You putting in work. <laughs> <laughs> can't be Scotty hey, now. Hell, Scotty, man, if you don't pick up that damn dribble, I, I know why you couldn't do it now. Fucking back spasms every man, day. I man. bet you got back spasms. Man, I can't. Hey, heavy lifting you doing at man, night. Man, he doing some heavy talking right now. So I, I can't be Scotty now. <laughs> I'd rather I'd rather deal with the back. <laughs> hey, well, got a little stack here, y'all. As usual, I got a couple of RPs. Like I say, I don't do no RPs or no foolishness no more. Like this, some straight up, you know, uh, RP uh, Forrest Whitaker's uh, wife, longtime love, Keisha Whitaker. Oh wow, died at the age of fifty one. Wow. Uh, always love them That couple I love for Is with it Cause the work he does And you ain't never Heard nothing about her Absolutely No scandalous No you know, All in this And she was only 51 right. So she of the generation She could have been Just in everything else Like everybody else Going to BBLs And on social media And I'm gonna tell this And that, that You know they have been Through some things Yeah Absolutely That man been a star For a long time They're Like Denzel his wife You know they have been Through some things Absolutely Ice Cube and his wife Been through some things Yep but you keep it in house. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Lorenz Tate and him and his wife been together a long time. Mm-hmm. He said everything, we keep everything private. You know another person you don't never hear nothing about? Uh, Morris Chestnut. Yeah, him and his wife and been married a long, long time. time. Yes. Now you know Morris Chestnut been one of them brothers on the sex symbol. Absolutely. You know, he, <laughs> I'm, 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 I ain't going to, I suppose they've had some troubles or two. Yeah. But I, you know, I, ain't, I can't say that. I don't know. He ain't been. I ain't starting nothing. He ain't been walked in on taking butt shots and all that stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the name out of it. <laughs> yeah, we'll just uh, because Morris Chestnut has worked with every up and coming sister. Right In the business He could have been Easily dragged into something And never said anything You're a black female And ain't yeah. never done A movie choice uh, 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 With Chestnut yeah, you, 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 doing doing right. you, you doing Tubi movies Right 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 Yeah Cause everybody Come up through Morris mm-hmm. So uh, Yeah man R.I.P. to her uh, Keisha Whitaker Age 51 So young I Ain't even get into The reasons This and that Cause right. a lot of times That don't even matter No it doesn't matter Man she's gone And, yeah. and that's the most Important part So I mean Prayers out to them Man yeah. uh, you know Pain is equally real Yep uh, Again uh, I'm gonna say R.I.P. To multiple people Killed at UNLV Right Crazed gunman Professor He didn't get the job So he Decide his life ain't worth living And I guess nobody else He's gonna take many people he can with him I don't understand it man That type of thing is crazy Because you you still And you gotta call it like it is yeah. I would just say politicians But it's not just politicians no, not It's Republican politicians yep. Who will not Allow you to do anything decent With gun regulations right. And other things I don't care if you're a Democrat, Republican, Independent, but that's the reality of it. Right. I think we in a country where you don't need anything above a pistol. No. Uh-uh. And you don't need 12 of them at home. No. And I would even go further. I would say you don't need more than seven to nine shots in them. Man. Why you got a Glock with a, a, a hundred round extendo? Right. I got a seven shot, right? Mm-hmm. Military trained too So don't try it Seven shot But if I don't get you in them I'm probably gone anyway Exactly Don't take but one shot That's it And it don't matter How many guns you got If somebody get the drop on you Exactly It does not matter <laughs> You, it doesn't matter if you're a Navy SEAL. <laughs> you are not. <laughs> you are not in a uh, Sylvester Stallone movie. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, every, you're not making it out of it. The only way to survive <laughs> is if you're immune to death. Right. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So that's just one of them things that's going to keep happening. They don't probably I, don't I, care. I really wish they would do something about this madness. This is the it's, only it's country that allows this madness. Absolutely. A Republican congressman got shot in the head. Remember playing baseball? Yep. He's still voting against it. Yep. 
Just because he's Republican. Stupid. You vote against your own, like, shoot him again. And I don't even like to call people out their name, but that's just, that's stupid. That's a jackass. Yeah. But again, RIP to those who lost their life at UNLV, man. Yeah. So I decided with them two RIPs, that's a little creepy. I'm going to start off with some good stuff. I ain't gonna get into this nigga shit with y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm gonna start out with some goodness. Damn y'all. Damn y'all right now. I'm gonna say congratulations, man. Two. The queen, Nicki Minaj, turned 41. Ooh. Looking good, Nick. Mm-hmm. Looking good. I don't know about that's the weight you that weight you got on you. But, uh now that's now that's that's who should be taking butt shots. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nikki looking good, baby. Not only did she turn 41, bro, <coughs> she released the Pink Friday 2 album, Breaking Records, mm. already in one week, oh. already smashing Spotify, Billboard Records, already. That's what's up. In, in this world of streams, this and that, mm-hmm. 500,000 copies the first week, that's, she already go. That's, that's what's up. And to put that in context, Drake come out last time, what was it 200,000 in yep. one week? Yep. She did 500,000. That's what's up. I heard the album. That it go. It go. She not. Matt, I'm so glad she didn't turn to a mumble rapper or just want to sing. She, you know, she sing right. too, but not like that. She's spitting <laughs> and talking about everybody. On that that's, album. Hey, that's how you She's supposed to do it, man. Spitting. That's how you supposed to do it, man. man that album, but so far to me, album of the year, hands down. Oh, I wow. got to get up for you, Nikki. That's what's up. That pink, hey, album of the year so far, man. Y'all, if, if y'all think y'all can have that longevity like her, because she's 41, I don't care if you Megan Thee Stallion, City Girls, whatever you is. Her 41-year-old version of herself looks, style, spitting. She killing y'all in 20s. <laughs> she, but I be saying it all the time, bro. A nice 40 and above. Right. They killing the young girls out here. Right. Because they still got the intellect too, right? They still got the street knowledge. And y'all, y'all ain't never had a street fight. They, they done made it past the foolishness, man. Nine, past nine, the foolishness. Nine, it's about their business. It's about their lifestyle. Got a little baby. Yeah. He growing up, she call him Papa. You the big yeah. Papa, that man. She, yo, it's it's unexplainable if you haven't right now reached forty to look back over the years and see what we came through. Because mm-hmm. they always say, yeah. Now nah, I'm telling y'all to come through the 80s and 90s. Y'all born after 95, I'm gonna say. <laughs> y'all don't even understand. Y'all y'all know is people shoot shoot shoot. Y'all don't understand. Don't understand what life is, what it takes. Y'all live. don't. But yeah, yeah, I, I digress. I, I ain't gonna say nothing else, man. They're gonna oh you oh you got it. well yeah I yeah, say what y'all want to say, but one thing you ain't been is my age. Mm-hmm. I've been yours. <laughs> I've been yours. Yeah, I people, people don't care. They don't care. It's, it's okay though. I got, I got a master class coming. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so again, congratulations, Miss Nick. Hey, forty-one years old, dropped the album of the fucking year. You know what? I'm gonna do me a master class one day, bro. I need you to, bro. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do me one one day. You gonna? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, bro. You know that? I know you personally, bro. When I say because. They're my OG. They're because I know some things. I know you want to get off your man. chest. See, you being nice, man. I, I, man. <laughs> next, next subject. Next subject. Yeah, yeah. I'll move on, cause uh, 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 a New York man. Uh, good news, man. Okay. <laughs> New York man. Apparently, for the second fucking year in a row, this lucky some bitch won the New York lottery. Oh shit. <laughs> Ten million dollars two years in a row. Wow. You lucky son of a bitch, you. I don't think I have almost I have one with four dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even bother to look when it get like that, bro. I just told it. Yeah, I keep that well, hey. That, you lucky son of a gun, you man. Mm-hmm. Uh shit. Make make you want to go to New I York swear, just man. to buy a fucking lottery ticket. I tell you. I swear, man, it, it, I don't have no luck in the lottery, I don't have no luck in the casino. I'm just, yeah, that's just not mine. You man. know, some people just go and they just win. Win, yeah, man. Scratch out and just win. I can't, man. I, they won't even give my twenty dollars back. It, it, <laughs> it, it, it was a girl. I, I tried my hand just one lottery thing to scratch off. Bought a couple times. It's a ten dollar ticket. I tried a couple times. I ain't win two nickels. <laughs> this girl in line in front of me. She get the same ticket. This motherfucker stand there and scratch off a thousand dollars. 
Mm. I almost jumped on it. <laughs> I almost jumped on that motherfucker. Yo, well, hey, you remember remember that game with a uh, Pittsburgh still with uh, Bill Cowell was on the sideline, dude running by. <laughs> he almost hit it. There. That's how I be feeling when they win, man. Yeah, you don't knock shit out man, there. Man. <laughs> hey, like like I know the Rams players wanted to trip that Baltimore player when he ran off <laughs> in hey, overtime. Hey, hey, I know hey, they hey, wasn't this man. Hey, stop hating on my team. Mm. Team, with, team with destiny. <laughs> Team of destiny And that boy almost <laughs> failed When he got in the clearance Kept yeah. himself up Well I mean Dude it tripped him He just had to catch his foot Yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> well, big, shout, big shout out to Baltimore Y'all, y'all did your thing Y'all did your thing I'm, I'm, But you know what Some more good news This is a good week apparently mm. You ever wonder You like sports You love sports I love sports mm. What city in America Put out Breeds the most professional athletes. You know what? I'm a, uh there are all these big cities, man. I'm gonna go out on the limb because it ain't, it ain't where you think it's it's small time. I'm gonna sit there and say Phoenix, Arizona. No, no, the number one city, Chicago, Illinois. Wow, they put out the most athletes. I would never guess that. I can see that now. Now that you said it, number but two. I never would have guessed that. L.A. Really? Not the most professional athletes. Hmm. Number three, Philly. Philadelphia, number three. Put out the most. You got to think hockey, football, yeah, baseball, and, ba- and basketball's and a soccer. big one. Basketball's a big one, huge one. So, number four, top four cities, St. Louis. You got to be booed. The hometown. Here. You but you know that includes the East Side too. Side, yeah. East Side. Think about it. Yeah. East Side turn out a lot of. Yeah. Great athletes they got, that, they got that one receiver in Missouri is doing his thing boy. Let me tell you something We also got these big country boys Out in the hood In the hills And mm-hmm. deep in the suburbs the Offensive tackles and Yeah They turn out to be great uh, Athletes as well stuff. Yeah yeah. So so there you go man That cities that turn out the And, and, and you, I know, guess, you know They produce a lot of soccer players here too Yes and I didn't St. Know Louis that. University. I was reading that about uh, St. About Louis three University. Weeks ago. They yeah, breed they them. Do. Yeah, yeah. So that's Chicago, L.A., Philly, St. Louis. So you say half of that at least come from the Midwest, right? Mm. Talk about us if y'all want to. Interesting. Man, now. Talk about us. We doing some athletic. The only thing I hate <laughs> with all these athletes we produce, I don't know two of them that stay here. They don't stay, and I ain't saying you gotta stay. Mm-hmm. But they also half of them. You only know they from here. They, they not give, <laughs> they they not giving back. Mm-hmm. I'm like Dr. Umar said. It's cool y'all come and hand out turkeys, but you after that what? Right. There's no bit. You, you're not like Nipsey Hustle. Like you starting mm-hmm. the business in the hood is, and I right. Listen, let me tell you something. I understand why you don't do it either. Right. <laughs> I ain't go. I ain't go in front on you. <laughs> right. But I wish that at least would at least get Put together. Money, you, know, you know, if if they if they would sit there and invest more in this city, yeah. it would be more attractive. Yeah. But and, and you know what the biggest investment they gotta do? <coughs> Time. Yep. Absolutely. I'm having an event here yep. for the city. I'm having an event for That's the city. That's the one thing I can say about Nelly. He does put money back here. He does. He, he and he sends here. a lot of kids to school. School here from here. He makes know? a lot of kids, but he sends a lot of kids mm-hmm. to school. <laughs> they right. had the thing with Nelly. <laughs> they talk about Shanti was pregnant. Well, apparently she ain't pregnant. pregnant right. Apparently, apparently it's somebody else. <laughs> he had another kid. But yeah. Shanti, how much abuse can you But now in in his defense on this one, yeah. this was before they time. He's a nigga. This was before they time. Well, two this months. Was, this was a Dwayne Wade and a Gabriel Union before. Hey, oh, hey, shit, hey, man. We wasn't we together. That with. We wasn't together. And apparently, he must. He, he no. told her about it. Because so, we, we so. know that's the first <laughs> excuse a nigga <laughs> used. Technically, we went together. Hey. But we fucked on. Yeah, but we didn't say we was together. Nah, but you got to look at man. They, they've only been together about four or five months. It takes nine months for a baby to be born. She should so run. They, you say what? She should run. She, she, she thinks she should run. Yeah, she don't need the money. You know, no. there are so many guys that would treat you so much. He had twelve babies on you, girl. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> and it always some hood rats. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, Nelly. I'm well. I ain't sorry, but shit is what it is. You like hood rats? Ain't no wrong with that. I just. Mm. In this situation, now I'm not sitting there saying about because I think he. This is what number four or five or something like that. 
Now in the first one, yeah, we know of. Well, that's true. That's true. Well, well, I'm going with what the records say. Because I think I this see a kid that look like a man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting there saying for the, uh, for for what's on the record. I think yeah, this yeah. Be, I think this is number five. <laughs> And it how many baby mamas? Months to produce how many baby, baby mamas is it? They've only been together for five months, so that means he was fucking with this chick before he got with her. So then, therefore, let's say the girl was pregnant when he went back to her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. That's what that's what I'm saying. You know, he, I, I hope he. Well, put it like this, run. because of she's there, <laughs> because she's there and she's silent. I'm assuming he was full disclosure when they got back. I'm gonna tell you something. Nelly Rep in St. Louis because he the last pretty nigga that could get away with this. Absolutely, he is the last one. Absolutely, because <laughs> they will go ugmo on you. Like, you, <laughs> but Nelly somehow whatever charisma Dirty Mo got, uh, you know that little St. Louis swag. Uh, right. Uh, the the talk, you know, her dar air work, whatever. First word, it, gonna, it, bro, first, it's it, working for you. His first word is gonna be yeah. <laughs> it, it's working for you, bro. I ain't gonna front on you. I ain't no hater. It's working for you, Nelly. Hey. But Ashanti, I would fucking run. <laughs> run. I, 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 I would say move with caution. I'm not running yet. If, <laughs> but like I said, only if it was full disclosure when we start fucking. Let's let's again. do this. What's the pros and cons? What's the game, Ashanti? He already got enough kids. He just had one. What she, she need one. You for it? She ain't got none. Why would I do that? I got five, four, five baby mamas. I got the money, so why would I give a fuck? <laughs> she got money too. That's but that's the whole point. That's why you gonna do it. It ain't it ain't it ain't breaking. He ain't got a pregnant all this time. That's probably maybe she ain't want it. Maybe now she want it. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, she did leave a music mogul. <laughs> like he had the career waiting for, and she on the NBA game. With the, the, you it, did leave it, with music mogul. It, it wasn't Nelly. <laughs> I mean, she, I got, mean, she got that soft spot for him, man. Sometimes you just got a soft spot for that one. It's just that yeah, one. That's true. Yeah. So, but I, like I said, I really I don't want to because I, I love Ashanti. I don't want to see her embarrassed. I'm hoping it was full disclosure when they got messing around. So yeah. if it was that route, then I can see. And I'm I'm assuming because Ashanti don't seem like she's the one that's gonna take a lot of shit. Especially the second goal. <laughs> I'm talking about the second goal. It was not around. full disclosure, bro. She wasn't. taking that shit. <laughs> I don't care what you say, bro. I damn that. She. So you saying yeah. she ain't know? She knew. That's what I'm saying. So he he, he must have told her. Well, uh, my fault. She ain't know. Oh. Well, then it, now if she didn't know, same little niggas don't tell you when they having babies. Well, you right. We don't. They only tell their mama. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you I just ain't show it one day with a big head kid. Mm-mm. When you tell them mom, talk too much. They're like, mm, <laughs> yeah. hey, sitting mama, up, sitting around watching Young and the Rest of Gospel. Hey, boy, that's Gam Gam over there. Who <laughs> give her a hug? <laughs> what? <laughs> he looks just like God damn it. This just your baby. <laughs> I got. Wait a minute. I got the. I got. I got the funniest story. Real quick. Real quick. So. I needed my mama to babysit, mm-hmm. and my mama said, "You know, because of my age, I don't, I don't babysit my great grandkids." <laughs> I said, "What the hell are you talking about? These are your grandsons." She said, "Oh shit, you waited so late to have them." <laughs> I said, well, "Boy, I swear." <laughs> Ooh, well, that pick up at school gonna be like, "Hey, somebody granddaddy here." That's mm. my daddy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, believe Papa my, was a Rolling Stone, mm, goddamn. Believe my boys long crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Papa was a Rolling Stone, baby. Just got hey, rolled. Man, just rolled a little late. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Moving on, then. Uh. <laughs> got to get to some nigga stuff every night, and then I guess. Uh, yeah, you know it's always some. Yeah, nineteen-year-old Memphis man uh, allegedly robbed a gas station and got arrested. You know, I. Right? I said, okay, he robbed the gas station. He got six hundred dollars. I think the problem came was because he stole two donuts with it. <laughs> I want six hundred dollars and two fucking donuts. <laughs> and then they found that's, the that's they probably found, what got him caught. They found the steam stuck on the windows. That's he what said, I said. Eat that glazed donut and, so, and fingerprint right on the window. <laughs> Perfect match. Yeah, it was just I, you know what? I knew it was gonna be something stupid. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be something stupid. <laughs> Probably could have got away with it. He had to eat the fucking donuts. He yeah, had to get no milk or nothing. He just give me two of them. Give me two glazes. <laughs> well, you, hopefully they let you keep the six hundred dollars. You get plenty of donuts with your comments. 
<laughs> that is stupid, man. <laughs> so, so he's sitting there, sitting there with putting the signal out with, with, with two donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what You got jelly You got no fucking jelly do that You got jelly do that See That's why I rhyme me out there You motherfuckers ain't never got shit When I come here mm-hmm. Give me a twist <laughs> me, You got no twist mm, Two twisted mm, Two twisted Hold the flash <laughs> Meanwhile <laughs> Meanwhile <laughs> God damn If I hadn't touched Meanwhile <laughs> <laughs> Wait a Give me a Give me two Give me two if I, hadn't, if I hadn't asked him donuts, I could have got the way. Who hit that button? Who hit that button? It's fucked up. Oh God! I, 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 yeah. You know, I'm, I'm sorry. I got. How is it that <laughs> you hear about so much dumb shit coming out of Memphis? How is it that, 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 that I, we, bro, we I'm murder a, I'm more a, people than they do? I'm a, no, I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. I said it before. Memphis now has a familiarity with. Other large African American cities, Detroit, Baltimore, etc. Memphis is now the number one black city as far as population. I we we've gone through and destroyed Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> we've destroyed Baltimore, Mm-mm. Chicago. White folks ain't letting you get Philly. They they trying, <laughs> bro. Let me tell you, for whatever reason, everywhere we go, we the number one people there. Now the only difference is St. Louis. Now St. Louis is high in crime, uh, sexually transmitted disease. We in the top three or five every year in those. Only difference is St. Louis population has decreased. But you know what? Another thing about this area, a lot of people don't know. There's a lot of old money here. Yeah, and these people are not letting this city go. But check this reason. out. We're just talking about the city. city. We're not talking about the surrounding Memphis area. as a city has that many people. Could you now Memphis, St. Louis as a city has around three hundred thousand people or less. Mm-hmm. Could you imagine St. Louis City with nine hundred thousand people? Yeah. And and six hundred and seventy thousand of them is niggas. <laughs> I would live here. <laughs> I'd be asking President Trump to build a wall around that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go Y'all something else man mm. I, I'm, Y'all can say I'm bashing us hey. Whatever you want to say But check it out Anywhere where we become The number one people there We tear that shit up Go look at it Go look at the number one black I'm, cities For mean, the last I, 50 years I'm, I'm Now I'm going to say this Part of it is government And part of it is us because yeah. once we start doing stuff, government starts pulling their funding and it makes it worse. Yeah, but we ain't we yeah. ain't we ain't got to, this nigga just stole two donuts with six hundred dollars. We ain't got to do that. Cause they don't want to go to work. <laughs> in in to today's to world, where you could drive oop, look, I took an Uber the other day, just had to get some work done uh, my car, whatever. I took an Uber the other day. The white lady said, she talking to me while I was in there, she said because Uber, I didn't know Uber has to deal with rental companies. Mm-hmm. You could actually rent a car. As long as you to, drive so many rides, they pay you. She they said, pay for the yes, car. Yes, yes. I yep. said, you make enough money to do the rental and get paid. She said, yeah, yes. Yep. She said, I just got to do 30 rides a week. Yep. And they pay for the And that's her job, right? Yeah. So she doing half that in a day. Yep. She said, she do 30 rides in two days. So just all money. And co- she said, I done drove to Florida because you do what you want with the car. Right. She said, "You bring it in every thirty days, so they can fix whatever." Yep. If I if I if I didn't have a full time job at night, I'm telling you, you got that. You got do it there. You can sit there if you got a house that's paid for. Yeah. And you got retirement, you can literally drive for Uber for three days. That's what I know. Get your car note (laughs) and your insurance paid. And the other four days of the week, you off and you do whatever the fuck you want to do. She said, "That's what her husband do. They retire, they sit back, they just drive all day." Yep. Ain't got shit else to do. Start with every time you want to finish with and make your own hours. Yeah, you work. You just, can work, not work this day, day, and just do double the next day if you want. I said they pay that much. Hey, and I'm telling you, in other cities, it's more. I'm I'm sorry, the Lou. Uh, if you look at the the mm. stats, the Lou pays the least amount for Uber and Lyft mm. because people here are tight with their money. Yeah. I was on the West Coast, and because yeah. of tourism and all that stuff, dog, I was making more money doing that part time during the weekend than I was with a full time job. Wow. So ain't no excuse. 
It ain't no excuse for no brother not to have no job. Ain't, ain't no excuse. I heard no. you. That's your, ain't, ain't, so you, you ain't even got to have a car. They giving you a car. Yeah. And yeah. the insurance. You, you say you a boss. There you go. There you go. There you go. There are ways. We just lazy. <laughs> well, uh, I'll move on, man. Uh, Colorado Buffaloes are leaving the Pac-12. Oh, yeah. They're going back to the Big 12. Mm-hmm. I tell you why I'm not impressed with the move. And Deion doing some things, you know, he got the number one offensive now, lineman coming. Now keep in mind, this was already set before he got there. Just want y'all to know, this ain't no thing because he's there. It's a yeah, set. But I, 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 I hate to see it because it looked funny. Yeah, because he couldn't win out at Jackson State. Remember, right. they ain't win no championship in Jackson State. <coughs> he got the Colorado. They got the ass whooped out of Pac-12. Lad, dead lad. You got to mm-hmm. conquer your division. Right. Couldn't do it. Dead fucking lad. Mm-hmm. Lost what seven, eight games in a row. Yep. Now they're going to run them off to the Big 12, which is watered down right. because guess what? Texas, Oklahoma leaving. Yep. Now keep in so mind. So you're going to play they, SMU, Iowa? Man, get the they, fuck. They started out in the Big 12. They moved to the Pac-12 yeah. because of money. Now they're moving back to the Big 12. Yeah. But, and, this, but the Big 12 ain't, ain't going to be the same. Right. No, you should same, dominate, but it, I'm not saying you will. It's not the same. It's, not the same it's like Jackson State on steroids. Yep. SMU, Iowa, shit. Now, like, if they had to sat yeah. there and said SEC or a Big Ten or something like that, then I'd be oh, like, okay, gonna, them balls oh, is done. Right. Oh, he wasn't going to that Georgia deal, <laughs> Alabama deal. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. But this, this division they going to now, it's a water. It's not the old Big but 12. At, 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 to shed a little light, Pac 12, they weren't the only ones that left. Pac-12 now no. is only left with like three or four teams. UCLA, yeah, everybody, left. yeah, UCLA, USC. USC. So a lot of the heavy hitters left. I think Oregon. Well, you might be able to Oregon dominate. State, <laughs> right? <laughs> but no, because the ones that's left in it, they could be Oregon, well, yeah, no, Oregon State, be. Washington, Washington State. They lost all four. Of them. You could be no teams look, still look, there. Let's be clear. They couldn't beat nobody in the, the Pac-12, Pac-12, right? Which I don't like. The I think look. they only won Colorado State. What? Yeah. Yeah, that was one, it's one, it's one the win. optics of it. It just yeah. don't look it just right looked, to me. Yeah, because everything is happening. Like it's like y'all got getting your ass ran out of there. Right, exactly. Yeah, like exactly. It's like a boxer who comes up and, and dominates, but well, it's like Javante Davis. He want to dominate, claim everything, but he won't win the belt. <laughs> so, Which means you ain't fighting the best of the best. There's four or five belts in each division. You ain't got one of them, bro. So that it, means if. if, if a couple people got a belt unless one person like Devin Haney had all the belts at 135. Unless one person has the belt, you ain't fought the best person. But a lot of these divisions, two or three people got the belts. Mm-hmm. You ain't fought none of these top people. None of them. Then everybody you fight, you weight drain them, you put in this clause, that clause. I want to see the real Javante Davis because my man Devin Haney stepped up to the 140, fought the 140 champ, dominated, won every round. They didn't know that boy was that good mm-hmm. And showed his power as he coming up Because he said I've been killing myself making 135 He said I'm probably going to do this one Then jump immediately to 147 Because mm. yeah. you grow You know what I'm saying right. You uh, Tank uh, Yeah okay I love uh, football too much for you to be doing this old bullshit Tank But <laughs> I love boxing too much So that's okay uh, Another story The Lakers <laughs> win the inaugural <laughs> In season <laughs> Tournament. I, what is this about? I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. Set up. Uh, uh, bro, you know what? <laughs> Until football season over, I can't really focus on it. You know, right, I mean, right, I, right, I, right. I can't really get my head wrapped wrapped around it. Right. But I saw this shit here, mm. and I think, hold on, the championship ain't till. Not mm. th- this ain't the championship, right? <laughs> the Lakers won. Look, congratulations, LeBron. But what the fuck did you win? <laughs> <laughs> hey, a half million dollar. <laughs> Nigga worth the billion. I, but I, I will sit there and say this: for the league, it did what it was supposed to do. What's it supposed to do? It, it, it got more interest in the beginning of the season because they sat there and said everybody was just coasting through until it gets close to the play to the playoff time. So the tournament winner goes out because now everybody wants to win the tournament. Losers out in the division don't go to the championship. And what was the fucking point? Uh, they 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 got they boost their ratings. That's all about the money. Did they? Yeah, they 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 were setting record ratings. People actually watch this shit. They set record ratings for for the games watched in the beginning of the season. 
um, uh, compared to waiting until the middle and end of the season. A lot of people usually don't start picking up on basketball until football ends. And they I had still a lot, won't. They had a lot more eyes on basketball <coughs> now than they've ever had because of this end tournament. So, so regardless of how we feel about it, it did what the NBA wanted to do because it, it got them more <sighs> money, got them bi- uh, bigger ratings. It got you know, David Stern and Michael Jordan would never – <laughs> it's not like some Scotty shit. Well, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It, it's Ron Harper it's, shit. It's, it's, it was about the money, man. Tony Kukoc. It, was, <laughs> it mean, wasn't. It wasn't about the game. It was about the money. See, Mike. <laughs> yeah. That's why I missed them old. But see, that's man. the thing. Back in the day, we watched the game because of Mike alone. But, but because of, because of, but that's what I'm saying. Because they watered down the player and the play. We wait till playoffs to watch now. Remember, yeah, Mike, you, put Mike, every you, put game. Mike, you put Mike on Christmas Day, he trump any football game going yeah, on. Yeah, well, yeah. You put Mike on a regular weekend playing a Miami back yeah. in the day or New York. Yeah, that football game was second nature. Yeah, but you don't have a player of that caliber that demands that much attention. A LeBron, as good as they want to make him out to be, he don't demand that kind of attention. That's why Nobody LeBron does today. That's why LeBron stays in social media. Yeah, that's why he does. Mike didn't have to do all of that. Social media stayed in him. Mike wasn't in social media. The media looked for him. Yeah. Mike didn't look for media. Mike didn't look for. That's why he didn't comment on politics. He didn't have to. No, I he just, was. He, I just didn't get it. Yeah, I, 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 but I mean, I it did what it was supposed to do. The tournament got them money, <laughs> so that's what. Hey, it got them ratings. That's what it was supposed to do. Yeah, they ain't get my TV. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, it was it that's was that I, bullshit. I slept through a lot of. It. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying It's a fucking snooze but, fest But see The thing about it was is, if The Raiders The TV was still on It don't matter if I watched it then The TV up, was on Then it ended up being The Pacers Against the Lakers Yeah oh. The only thing I would sit there And say that's To me That's impressive About LeBron Is his age And his mode I know I love his play I, I, I'm that's, not down his play yeah. yeah I just don't understand What the fuck The tournament, tournament was for right. In the middle of the sea right. or the, yeah. What the it fuck was, It was about the money Is somebody gonna get Canceled now, or something To me Because this was The first year Okay fine I wanna see what it's gonna do After this now it, Because fine. There's no stipulation For the loser and What are me, you Out of the playoff race yeah. I mean What are you and, and that's the thing What's the punishment I wanna see something for it Okay if that lesser team Like Indiana Guaranteed yeah. them A playoff spot now yeah, guarantee my playoff spot. Or oh, if I win, guarantee me home field throughout Thank the playoffs. Thank you. Make I mean, me what the fuck am I doing it for? Now I, mean, I bet if you do something like that, I bet you every team yeah, gunning now. Yeah. Because it, of, I can go under. I can go. Yeah. I can get defeated the rest of the year, but yeah. I got that guaranteed playoff spot now. Because I mean, I, I get five hundred thousand, five hundred thousand. Right. I can make but that. All these guys making millions anyway, and in California, you break down to five hundred thousand, you are gonna end up with about two hundred anyway. Right. It ain't. I mean. Shit, they got that on their wrist. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see this tournament matter. Playoff season. They wouldn't even play for pay for a shot of Sanders car. If, if I win this thing and I'm a top team, yeah. I don't care where it comes out, I won't home court no matter what. If yeah. I win this thing and I'm a lower seed team, I don't care where I come out, I want a guaranteed playoff spot. Yeah, that's crazy. Now now we can play. Yeah. Other than that, I see I see you around uh all star. <laughs> well, I'll move on, man. That shit eat up my time. <laughs> that just annoys me. But Brock Lesnar, WWE star, has a daughter, Maya. Uh, she's fine? breaking records. <laughs> just, bro, this drag queen. <laughs> <laughs> she breaking records in the shot put at CSU. When I tell you Brock Lesnar in a in a fucking wig. The muscles and everything. Oh wow! Oh god! This Scandinavian motherfucker. <laughs> this pale face bitch. <laughs> what she do to you, dog? Ooh, <laughs> I had to look at that picture. I said, "Oh god, what the Brock, hell?" Did, did Brock Lesnar uh, <laughs> violate something? I'm sorry, Brock. I'm a Roman Reigns. I'm a Roman Reigns fan anyway. <laughs> I'm moving on though. I ain't gonna hold on to that, man. 
You gotta talk about the people leaving Diddy left and right, man. I ain't gonna even stay home on Brother Love. I'm so sick of it. <laughs> they leaving Brother Love left and right. Yeah, Bro- since this little girl came out, say she was 17 and Aaron Hall and Diddy raped us. She got pictures and t- it been a downhill progress for Brother I'm, Love. I'm, I'm telling you, Brother Love, it ain't over. I, it ain't- I'm just gonna say that because I'm, I'm t- whether they, uh, I've already heard reports that they about to uh, put some stuff together. You uh, know they is. Um, hey, it don't look good for you, bro. Uh, and look, look and, this. I, and, and I guarantee this is gonna move faster than me, uh, King R and B. Let me tell you something. <laughs> look at this nigga. I'm gonna say Megan Good boyfriend because Megan, you're another one of them that need to fucking run. Yeah, Jonathan Majors ex, this white girl, Grace Jabari. She has audio of this Negro demanding this white girl to act like Michelle Obama and Coretta Scott King. <laughs> He wants the fucking white girl to act like Michelle Obama and Coretta Scott. Shit, nigga. That, that turn them on? Now, if you said get a whip and, and whip me, I said, oh, well, that's some kinky shit. Okay, I'm playing slave and slave master, woman. <laughs> slave you know? He wanted to act like uh, powerful black women. <laughs> he wants the private school white girl to act like <laughs> Michelle <laughs> Wait a minute, because usually we go with the little with the little skimpy little private school outfits, you know, and stuff like that. He want he want <laughs> to put on some heels, stand at the podium. Not only that, bro, <laughs> they got proof he whooping ass. He said, "If you tell, I'm a, I'm gonna hurt myself." All, all this old bullshit, Megan, fucking Megan, you know when I've been loved with a long time. Baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you understand? Y'all disappoint me. <laughs> I ain't know it like this. I don't know what caused you to leave the man you was with, Megan, but damn, this is a bad replacement. Oh my God. <laughs> Isn't he whooping the ass and demanding I act like Michelle Obama? <laughs> <laughs> and I guess he because he couldn't get that right, then I just I'll go get a Megan good. <laughs> Bro. God, it's about that time. I'm going to ask you this little bullshit. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all something too, man. I'll make this quick because th- this master class is because <laughs> it's it supposed to be quick. It's called Let's Not Talk About It. <laughs> Text messages and phones, cell phones. And I say this to say because I had to tell my own damn family, stop fucking texting me at two in the morning. Yep. Crying wolf. Yep. I don't like the group text thing. I am a person who's. Uh, I'm not always the biggest communicator, but when I communicate, I like to do it verbally. Yep. Two in the morning screams either somebody's dead or it's a booty call. In fact, they should make a law. <laughs> <laughs> the only text you re- receive at the 10 o'clock at night is it's a, a booty, booty call, call or, or a death. <laughs> because I won't turn my phone off. I have a mother. Mm-hmm. I have kids. Who yep. knows what could happen? Yep. And when y'all texting at one in the morning, two in the morning, three in the morning, <laughs> five in the morning, drives me fucking nuts. Yep. I can say this clearly because family don't look at it and family don't support you any fucking way. Mm-mm. So I'm going to say it. <laughs> and don't think I don't know because I know you ain't looking because I know how to read analytics. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Down to the second, my nigga. Exactly. So I ain't going to get no repercussion. And even <laughs> if you did, oh well. I warned you. <laughs> Please. We ain't got to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> One in the morning, you have nothing to say to me. It, it, why Why can't they wait? They're just <laughs> passing around social media stuff like we ain't got eight pages ourselves and don't see this same. I got a show about seeing the same shit. <laughs> Where they do that at? <laughs> it's the same shit we all see 20,000 times. You know what? Get you a show. Mm. Put that on your show. Share it with the world. Or text the motherfucker that's up. Why I tell you what, John, <laughs> we just ain't got to fucking talk about it. <laughs> that's, I, 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 that's all. I, <laughs> that was that was funny. Yeah, that was funny. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm moving on, John. I'm going on that old sobriety shit. <laughs> Let me make this some quick too, man. Cause. <laughs> There's some stupid shit going on. I had to cut these sobriety checks because everybody just turns out to be fucking drunk. You know, I ain't had a sober one in a long time, man. I don't think you're going to get one this week. <laughs> <laughs> now, this gay nigga. <laughs> See? You got to start off like that. Come on, man. How about, how, about, how, about, how about letting us not call him gay? How about sexually challenged? <laughs> shit. She gay, huh? <laughs> this nigga gay. <laughs> this gay nigga said uh, black women <laughs> learn... Their mannerisms from them. 
They are the culture. You're trying to be a woman. <laughs> but the women learn from you. <laughs> this is what we're doing. <laughs> he, you know what? He trying to change some shit. It, it was inventive, stupidly inventive. But <laughs> he ain't never been sober in his life. So, something wrong with the women. And, but you trying to be like your style. They still in your stilo, huh? They still in your stings. <laughs> Bitch, you trying to be like a player? Like, what the fuck? I, uh, moving on, bro. Sobriety check, too. I can't. I just can't. Oh, God. This is my favorite, too. This rapper, the rapper Glorilla, says she tired of older people trying to make young people feel stupid. Cause she don't know who Rick James is, or, 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 or she don't know that song from, uh, you know, back there. The, so basically, the bitch don't know history and say we ought to stop shaming her. So that's your craft, though, drunk motherfucker. If that's your crap, you should know the people who these got people you to this started hip hop. Hey. James Brown. You should know the Rick people. James. Hey. You doing they fucking songs, you idiot. <laughs> it ain't that we shame you because you don't know. But damn it, who don't know fifth grade history and civics and shit, bitch? What was you doing in school? Even if you was in juvenile, what was you doing? In school suspension. <laughs> you don't know shit. <laughs> Stayed in I don't know who Michael Jackson is on Tide and Chuck. God damn. <laughs> so not only do we got white folks trying to ban every book, us out of every fucking thing in the what? world, every invention we've had, we've got black people who don't know the shit and it's just easily. But just you know what? That's the over. that's the difference between her and like a Chris Brown, her and like a Beyonce. Yeah. Because the motherfuckers that know, you see they excel. She's just happy to get a dollar Exactly That's, That's all it is <laughs> Well this nigga here uh, Kodak Black No wonder why he loved Trump He wish he had somebody Now to get his ass out of trouble He, he stay in again. trouble Yeah the motherfucker out there Drinking and, and snorting I guess The police stop him And he tried to swallow All the crack and coke <laughs> My goodness <laughs> He was drunk He was high <laughs> He's so he cold. My goodness I was gonna move right on bro Cause this You can't make this shit up A female pastor Said she Started her only fans And transitioned to that Cause uh It makes her feel Closer to God I guess cause she naked Thank you, Fans only <laughs> Yeah she naked So uh yeah. Say she ended the world That way She yeah. gonna live that way And thank God Another drunk one <sighs> Look at God <laughs> Look what God can do for you <laughs> Well God can make ass like that <laughs> I'll tell you. Wow. I'll tell you. <laughs> wow. That is crazy. <laughs> Bro, uh, this nigga. Atlanta police arrested 26 year old Lanisha Henderson, a black woman, after she was uh, caught attempting to burn down the childhood home of Martin Luther King. See, this is what happened when you don't know fucking history. <laughs> this bitch, 26. Wow. <laughs> now her family tried to say, oh, she got mental illness. She was in the Navy. Did it? You 26 She was in the Navy Couldn't have been that long ago What you been right. in the war I mean what the fuck happened No right. She she made past Psych evaluation then Some nigga probably told her Yeah I live right there She got mad at him I'm gonna go burn that nigga house down <laughs> <laughs> Bitch that's the king house What the fuck is you doing <laughs> Wrong house motherfucker <laughs> See That's why you need to know History glow real <laughs> Shit like you gonna be Burned down a road Fucking house You come with a black people With radar bitch You'll never have a moment Of sleep <laughs> then I guess she had a left eye moment <laughs> Ah, speaking of the police, <laughs> his Oklahoma cop was arrested after assaulting a sex shop worker. The worker was defending the cop's wife because they was in her together and they was arguing and stuff. And he came to her defense and they was arguing over the size of the sex toy she wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. He said, I'm enough man for you, God damn it. <laughs> she said, nah. Nah. That white, that I'm, white woman said, I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need this right here. Give me that 14 inch black one. He said, it, What? It, what it, the it, fuck? Yeah, it wasn't mad of a 14, it was mad of a black. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it, I don't know if they gonna make a 14 inch white one. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that black. <laughs> <laughs> Always bet on black, man. He got mad. He got mad. get his ass up out of there. He'll know. Speaking mm-hmm. of the police, now this Alabama cop got suspended after she tased the black man while he was detained in handcuffs. You know she told him why she was. 
Shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> <laughs> She said, you ain't tough now, huh? You ain't shut your bitch ass up. Why you in handcuffs, huh? And he was crying like a baby. I don't lie. He was, <laughs> now you're crying. I said, God, I will. Mm. Well, I'm going to get y'all something for your foodies. McDonald's is launching a new restaurant, fast food restaurant. What's wrong with the one they got? Well, it's called Cosmics. This one is named after one of their characters, and they said this one is to compete with like Starbucks and Dunkin' because they're gonna specialize in different coffee brews and a breakfast sandwich. So you ain't you know Big Macs and stuff. But I hope y'all seen it. It told it, told it all with the look I just gave. Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they trying to. Why not just sell some better fucking coffee in McDonald's? You know because that coffee suck. Yeah, and, and you know what? The crazy part about it is, is because you making money hand over fist. Yeah. You can do stupid shit like this. Just wasting money. Well, we'll keep going stupid. There you go. <laughs> a Minneapolis man fatally shoots a transgender woman. Now, you look at this transgender, you know it was a dude. After becoming suspicious, doing oral sex. Now, you knew that was a man. man you did. Your you suspicion did. came when you wanted to try it. Well, mm-hmm. guess what? You're going to get to try it every day now. You know what? You can try the, the, the crazy put now. I, I guarantee the dude was gonna tell. <laughs> that, that that was gonna be the problem. <laughs> dude was gonna tell. He probably that motherfucker felt guilty. He was getting that good head from that dude. He liked it. <laughs> yeah, he was mad at himself for liking it. Well, now now you're gonna be on the other end of it. Yeah, because you, you're yeah. gonna be. I hope you took lessons because you're gonna be giving good head instead of getting. It. <laughs> well, <I'm, laughs> it's, it, it, these people. I don't, Ruby Rose. <laughs> <laughs> she meets with her biggest only fans fan. Now this crappy looking, evil looking ass white boy spends reportedly up with sixty thousand a month on her only fans. <laughs> so she met him. Not to do nothing with him, just, just hey, meet. thanks. Right. He, he spent thirty thousand a day on. Oh wow. Got a tattoo of her on on. Yeah. Wow. I don't know where you get that money. See, why white people y'all don't need money? Exactly. That's what y'all do you with the money. The do, All man. the cotton we fucking picked for this white boy to eventually go down and spend <laughs> six thousand on all their fans. If you're gonna spend sixty thousand, make it worth your while. Not that. I don't know. Maybe you got a kinky fetish for this. She don't come out. She don't do more than that. Goddamn. Right. It's sixty thousand dollars, bitch. You. <laughs> I ain't just meeting you. We she, she, she shook that motherfucker head. I, I didn't pay you sixty thousand dollars. <laughs> I, I, I don't get it. <laughs> well, making phone calls have come uh, easier for those in Massachusetts. Uh, in the Massachusetts prison, cause they free. <laughs> yeah, you get to torture your victims, <laughs> harass your family, <laughs> call your past, and everything else in Massachusetts if you're in jail for free. Yeah, they already passed it in California. <laughs> So then now they just make calls all over the U.S. Yeah, just call them. <laughs> Motherfucker, don't call me. <laughs> free or not. If I don't hear a collect, call, yeah, motherfucker, this a free call, for, man. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> Prisoners yeah. got rights. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they got the right to leave me the, the fuck, fuck alone. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna end with this though, cause this this crazy shit. It been, but you know, the people never seem to amaze me. Now, reality sub and want to be star British Williams is back at it. What? She continues to fuck with the court and plead with the court. This time, she pleading with the court to let her turn herself in. See, this is why she be state, cause I asked why we be there. See, right. federal, they let turn yourself in and shit. She was turning herself in on December 11th. Uh, she she has to be made or gonna make. I don't know. Yeah, she asked some more time. She asked for like January 11th or some shit. She said she wants to settle her affairs. Huh? <laughs> she want to spend time with her five year old daughter for Christmas and shit. Call her. It's free. <laughs> <laughs> It's free. Did you not think about the people whose identities and shit? And see, this is the hard part for the court and mm-hmm. what they said. Uh, and even with her request before, she's shown no remorse. She don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit. You either be here or I'm come get you. She, that's right. <laughs> the bitch ain't showed no remorse. Don't mm-hmm. give a fuck who identity she stole, all the heartache right. she caused. Because she can't pay that restitution of $250,000. She can't do it. And now, now you want us to be sympathized with you. Now we supposed to have sympathy for you, bitch. Like I said. Call
call her. It's free. You gotta call Tyrone, bitch. <laughs> Go check on my daughter for me. Exactly. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I can't believe y'all. Yeah. All right, y'all. We yeah. out. <laughs>